So official this already, look at you go. I know, right? I got the I got the stance and My name's Casey Lowe. Tim Kimes. Kevin Proctor. John Cardella. Charlie Labonte. Philip Burkhalter. Tim Rainey. I've been an automotive technician for 21 years. 37 years now. 23 years. Over 40 years. Since 1985. About 17 years. 34 years. Growing up, my, my grandpa was a race car driver. He drove for a long time, so it was kind of in the family. I fell into automotive as a career. I was considering engineering and electronics. Got into it as a high school vocational program. Um, just really liked figuring out th how things work, the ins and outs of, of mechanics. One thing led to another, and then I'm a world-class tech now, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The most rewarding part is that you see the look on the customer's face when they're Vehicle's fixed. The most rewarding part for me of being a technician is the satisfaction that I've actually fixed something. I've improved it. And I've served my customer and I've made them happy. That's very important to me. I think the most rewarding part about being a technician is um, it, it, fixing that hard thing. You know, fixing that thing that nobody else could do. You feel like a champion, you know, you run up the steps. You know, you, know you, you don't do that in the dealership because, you know, people look at you weird. Years ago, there was nothing but the book. And now there are no books. It is all computers. The technology, it's phenomenal. A lot more electrical diagnostics. You almost have to be an electrical engineer to do what we do. It's unbelievable. What's coming in the future, unheard of. I think a lot of people don't know how technical it really is. Everybody thinks anybody can do the job, and in reality, not just anybody can do the job. It takes a certain amount of pride and respect for the cars you're working on to treat them like they were the, your own vehicles and how you would want them and expect them to run. There's this stereotype in your head where you're like, I'm a mechanic, a grease monkey, you know, like, and I was like, I don't want to be that guy, but then, I was like, I'm making more than all these guys that went to college. It's how driven you are. You know, how much you push yourself, how much you want to succeed. What you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. This is a good profession. It really is. I mean, you can provide for your family big time. If you're going to do it, make sure it's done right. Be the best at what you want to do. Never settle for second. When you come out of a good school, get into a dealership that has a mentorship program. Because the old guys like me have a lot of information to give you. Every day you just get better. Like, don't ever stop learning. Like, the biggest thing is this career, you never stop learning. The engineers that design these cars are still learning as they come out. And we're here to help them, and they're here to help us.